Example of a non-Archimedean norm, the Piedic norm. Hello friends. In an earlier video, we discussed some interesting facts concerning non-Archimedean metrics and norms. As a follow-up, we now give an example of a non-trivial non-Archimedean norm. In fact, we talk about the Piedic norm on the field of rationals, where P is a prime. Let P be any prime number and A be any non-zero integer. The periodic ordinal or the periodic valuation of A denoted by odd suffix P A or V P A is defined to be the largest non-negative integer M such that P to the power M divides A. That is periodic valuation of A is defined to be m if and only if p to the power m divides a but p to the power m plus 1 doesn't divide a. Equivalently, periodic valuation of a is m if and only if a is of the type p to the power m into a1 where a1 is an integer and p doesn't divide a1. In other words, periodic valuation is the maximum of all non-negative integers n such that p to the power n divides a. We adopt a convention that periodic valuation of 0 is infinity. For all integers a and b, it is, it is easy to deduce that periodic valuation of the product AB is equal to periodic valuation of A plus periodic valuation of B. That is, periodic valuation behaves a little like logarithm. It is also easy to deduce that periodic valuation of sum of A and B, that is A plus B, is greater than or equal to minimum of periodic valuation of A and p devaluation of b okay highest power of p dividing a plus b is at least the minimum of highest power of p dividing a and highest power of p dividing b the periodic ordinal or the periodic valuation of a rational number x is defined as follows let x be equal to a by b where a and b are integers b non-zero. Then one writes periodic valuation of x equal to periodic valuation of the numerator minus periodic valuation of the denominator. It is not difficult to see that this definition is independent of the choice of a and b. That means if you write x is equal to c by d then periodic valuation of A by B is same as periodic valuation of C by D. That's not very difficult to see. Note that if A is a non-zero integer, then periodic valuation of A is a non-negative integer. Whereas if X is a non-zero rational number, then periodic valuation of x is an integer positive negative or zero also putting x is equal to a by b and y equal to c by d it is easy to deduce that periodic valuation of the product of two rational numbers is also equal to periodic valuation of x plus periodic valuation of y in case of integers we have seen such a expression to be true but in case of rational also the same expression that is behavior like logarithm is true given a rational number x let us now write this quantity okay is equal to 
1 upon p to the power p adic valuation of x if x is non zero and 0 if x is equal to 0. Clearly, this defines a well defined map this one from the field of rationals to the non negative real numbers set of non negative real numbers. Now, here having the main theorem this map which is here this is a non archimedean norm on q the rationals and is called the periodic norm on q so this is that periodic norm so this is a non archimedean norm and it is a it is periodic norm okay and from here only you can see that this norm is non trivial okay for trivial norm non zero quantities should all always go to 1 and uh, for uh, 0 it is 0 but here for non if x is non zero this is not always equal to 1 it depends on x okay So, proof given a rational number x, it is clear from the definition of this function that this I call it periodic norm. So, periodic norm of x is 0 if and only if x is 0. Okay, that is clear from the definition. See this one. Okay. So, next we show that the second property of norm that is periodic norm of product x y is equal to periodic norm of x into periodic norm of y for all rational numbers x and y. Without any loss, we may assume that x y is non zero because if it is zero, then one of x or y is 0. So, this side is 0, this side is 0 and <coughs> so, we assume that <coughs> x y is non zero. So, both x and y are non zero. Then what is the value of p uh, this one periodic norm of x y this is equal to by definition 1 uh, p to the power 1 over uh, sorry 1 upon p to the power periodic norm of x y and this is equal to 1 upon p to the power this one becomes periodic norm of x, uh, period, uh, periodic ordinal, okay. Periodic valuation of x plus periodic valuation of y, and this is equal to one over p to the power periodic valuation of x into one over p to the power periodic valuation of y, and this by definition is periodic norm of x and this is periodic norm of y and therefore, this inequality is true, this equality is true. Finally, we show that this is the ultrametric inequality, the third property the, or strong triangle inequality, this will automatically imply triangle inequality. So, tra strong triangulity is to be satisfied for non Archimedean norms. So, periodic norm of x plus y is less than or equal to maximum of periodic norm of x and periodic norm of y for all x, y in Q, the field of rationals. Without any loss, we may assume that x is non zero, y is non zero, and even x plus y is non zero. Otherwise, you see this inequality is trivially true. If x plus y is zero, then this side is zero, and this is all, of course, greater than or equal to zero. And if uh, x is 0, this is y, this side is also y. If y is 0, this is x, this is also x. Okay. So, we assume this. Then putting x is equal to a by b and y equal to c by d, we have 
x plus y equal to just add this to a t plus b c divided by b t. Therefore, what is periodic valuation of x plus y? This is equal to periodic valuation of because x plus y is a t plus b c divided by b t. So, definition of periodic valuation of rationals gives this, which is greater than or equal to this periodic value. These are integers, sum of two integers. So, it is at least the greater than or equal to minimum of periodic valuation of AD and periodic valuation of BC. Minus periodic valuation BD is written as it is. So, it is greater than or equal to. Now, this can be brought inside this here as well as here. So, it is greater than or equal to this minus this which is periodic valuation of AD by BD and periodic valuation of BC minus periodic valuation of BD is periodic valuation of BC by BD. Now, D, D cancels, B, B cancels. So, we get periodic valuation uh, minimum of uh, periodic valuation of X and periodic valuation of Y. Hence, it is follows that, hence it follows that what is periodic norm of x plus y? Periodic norm of x plus y is by definition p to the power minus periodic valuation of x plus y which is less than or equal to because periodic valuation of x plus y is greater than minimum of this. So, minus of this will be less than minus of this and so minus will go inside minimum will become maximum and this one is maximum of p to the power this and p to the power this and then this is equal to maximum of this is periodic valuation of x and this is periodic valuation uh, periodic norm of x and this is periodic norm of y this completes the proof now a problem let us try to compute periodic norm of this rational number 35 by 36. So, what is periodic valuation of 35 by 36? It is periodic valuation of 35 minus periodic valuation. Here P is 3 of course. So, 3 periodic valuation of 35 minus 3 periodic valuation of 36. So, 3 does not divide 35. So, it is 0 and 9 divides 36. Highest power is 9, 3, 3 square. So, it is 2. So, it is minus 2, 0 minus 2 is minus 2. Hence, P a, uh, 3 adic uh, norm of 35 by 36 is equal to 1 over 3 to the power 3 adic valuation of 35 by 36 which is minus 2 and so it is 9. An application of P adic norm here we uh, can show that square root of p is irrational for every prime p. So, we will solve this problem using periodic norm. Assume that root over p is equal to x for some rational number x, then p is equal to x square. So, apply periodic norm to both sides. So, it is periodic norm of p is equal to periodic norm of x square periodic norm of x square, but periodic norm of x square is same as periodic norm of x whole thing square by second property of Archimedean norm and non Archimedean norm. Second property of non Archimedean norm, norm uh, this two will go outside and periodic norm of 1 upon uh, uh, periodic norm of p is 1 upon p and periodic norm of x is by definition 1 over p to the power periodic valuation of x and this square is outside but periodic valuation of x is an integer. So, this is equal to 1 upon p to the power twice n where n stands for this periodic valuation of x. Okay. So, it is a some integer. So, this is equal, so this is for some integer n. So, this implies what? 1 is equal to 2 to the power n compare the powers, but this is absurd. Hence, this must be irrational. We will continue our discussion on non archimedean norms in our next video which will be uploaded soon. If you like this video then please subscribe and share my channel for more of such videos. Thanks for watching.